Types of planning? There are, different types of plans are used for different areas in an organization. First one, hierarchical plans. Into that there are three types of plans. Such as, strategic plans or institutional plans. Administrative plans. And, operating plans. Next, tactile plan. Contingency plan. And other types of plans. In other types of plans there are five types of plan. Those are, standing plans. Into standing plans there are three types, those are, policies, rules, and, procedures. Next, single-use plans. Into single-use plans there are three types, those are, programs, projects, budgets. Next, time frame plans. Next, formal and informal plans. And, proactive and reactive planning. Now, let us see one by one in detail. First in an organizational plans. Hierarchical plans first one. Strategic plans. Strategic plans, it is an institutional plans. Strategic planning has a long time frame, often three years or more. Strategic plans outline a long-term vision for the organization. An organization's top management most often conducts strategic planning. Under this plan following details will be planned. First, vision. An organization's vision is a non-specified directional and motivational guidance for the entire organization. Vision has emotional appeal that encourages people to commit full energies and mind to achieve it. Next, mission. Mission provide reason for being in the business. An organization's mission is the purpose and philosophy that will derive organization over a longer period of time usually 5 to 10 year. Next, goals. Goals, provide direction to the activities of an organization. Goals states the information about, how mission will be accomplished over the next year or two. Goals are the targeted ends, that the management wants to reach. Next, objectives. Objective is a specific statement of what will be done to achieve a goal. Objectives are more specified and are measurable than goals. Objectives should be to be smart. Specific. Measurable. Attainable. Rewardable. And. Timed. And. Finale. Strategies. Strategized. Are the courses of action. How the work will be done to achieve the targets. Which allocate resources. In the effective and efficient way for achieving objectives. Let us move to next one. Next one is. Administrative plans. This the plan, that plans specify the allocation of organizational resources to internal units of the organization. Also, address the integration of the institutional level of the organization. Examples. Vision formulation and implementation. Next, let us see the. Three dot operating plans. They are unit slash functional level plan. Day to day, operation plans of the organization. This contains. All technical core details. Operational plans are short range less than a year planning. This plan is designed to develop specific action steps that support the strategic and tactical plans. OKE, next. Tactical plan. Tactical planning is intermediate range planning that is designed to develop relatively concrete and specific means to implement the strategic plan. The plan duration will be one to three years. Middle level managers will be engaged in tactical planning. Tactical planning supports strategic planning. It includes tactics that the organization plans to use to achieve what's outlined in the strategic plan. This ensures the commitment to strategic plans. Next, contingency planning. Plans created to deal when something unexpected happens or when something needs to be changed. Example, natural disasters, terrorist threats, in that time alternative courses of action that are to be implemented if events disrupt a planned course of action. Contingency planning, can be helpful in circumstances that call for a change. Although managers should anticipate changes when engaged in any of the primary types of planning. As the business world becomes more complicated, contingency planning becomes more important to engage in and understand the world business. Next. Let us see come frequency use plans. Frequency of use plans. First, standing plans. As stated earlier, in standing plan there are three plans. First one is, policies. Gives the guidelines to achieve the targets as per government program. Second one, 
rules, guides to plan what is permissible and what is not permissible. And, third one, procedures. Like rules, they guide action, specify a series of steps that must be taken in the performance of a particular task. Next, single-use plans. Programs. Programs is a complex set of policies, rules, and procedures necessary to carry out a course of action. Then, projects. Projects are specific action plans. It has created to complete various aspects of a program. Then, budgets. Budget plans expressed in terms of numerical value to achieve the targets. Next, time frame plans. The organizations need to address the future work by its time frame plans. Short, medium, and long range plans differs according to the duration of future projected. Short range, several hours to a year. Medium range, one to five years. Long range, more than five years. Formal and informal plans. Formal. Well planned and written documents will be maintained to complete the work in given period of time. Informal plans. This gives unstructured and poorly designed plans. This plans will be orally communicated. Functional and corporate plans. Corporate plans. This comprehensive plan outlines the broad objectives of the company. Functional plans. This plan is for a particular unit. Example. Marketing, finance, production etc. Proactive and reactive planning. Proactive. Managers will face the challenges and future risks to prepare an alternative plans and will take suitable move to face unforeseen changes. Reactive. Managers will plan to face the external events. OKE. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.